Hello everybody! Do you want to use the USB or the flash drive for both your Windows as well as for Mac? One problem you'll face is that Mac OS and Windows support different file systems and they are incompatible with each other. But don't worry, today I'll show you how you can format the drive so that you can use both on a Mac as well as on a PC. We can format the drive with either the Mac or a Windows machine. So let's start with the Mac first. Connect your USB drive to the Mac and then press the command plus space keys to open the spotlight search. Type in disk utility and open it. In the left menu, select the disk you want to format. Right click on it and choose erase. In the pop-up window, click the format menu and we'll see several options. FAT32 and XFAT are the file systems that both Windows and Macs can read and write to, but they are all different. If you have an older computer and this size is 32GB or less, then choose FAT32 format. And if your disk size is over 32GB, then choose the XFAT format. Then enter a name for the drive, the maximum length is 11 characters, click erase and then click done. We can also format the drive with Windows computer. Now to do so, connect the USB drive to your PC, right click on the start button, select disk management, find your USB drive in the volume column, right click on it and select format. Again, remember to back up the important files. Click the file system menu and select FAT32 or XFAT. Then click OK. Now you are able to use a USB drive on both Mac as well as on a Windows computer. But guys, I made a serious mistake. I thought there were no important files inside the drive and I just formatted it. But now I realize there were some files that I need really much right now and if you are like me then there is still a way to recover the files which is by using my phone and a recover just select the formatted usb drive click on start the software will then perform a thorough scan on the drive and dig out the lost data even if it is deleted one year ago After scan is completed, a reminder will appear on the screen once and now we can just look through the data and select all the files we need. Click on recover. And yes, they are all back. Okay, so that's all about today. We are iMyPhone and recover and we will continue to bring useful tutorials. If you're interested, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time.